Can't let Rhino get away again. This is Sable Control, requesting update from Bowery. Armored patrol on the move. No sign of priority target. Now reports are coming in that Martin Lee, along with exhibiting freakish abilities like those of you-know-who, has lately seemed to display almost a split personality. <laughs> this is hogwash, and a clear attempt to evade justice for his crimes. Only a fool would believe that he's Mr. Positive one moment, helping the poor with a smile, then suddenly he's Mr. Negative, blowing up, wait a minute, Mr. Negative. That's gold, Jared. Gold. Trademark it. Stat. <laughs> as I was saying, folks, Morton Lee's evil side, or as everyone is now calling him, Mr. Negative, has been revealed as the culprit for the City Hall bombing. All those guys would love to kill me. But I can't just let him spray bullets around Manhattan. Faster next time. This is Sable Control, requesting status update from Museum Mile. Checkpoint is active. Full battle rattle. Lethal force authorized. We've got an assault in progress. Requesting officers on scene in Bloomingdale. Calling agents in Manhattanville. Requesting an update on your status. Armored patrol reporting in. No sign of the target. Excuse me, is this the Crosstown Express? Someone your own size, Rhino. 
There is no one my size, folk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? Thought you were alone. Ah, means and ends, folk. All of life is means and ends. So what's the end for these particular means? Freedom! True freedom! No more future! No more rhino! Wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show you? Beg him to give up? Yes, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, oh, like an old married couple, you two. Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The scary six? The dirty half dozen? How about we murder the fight, man? If you court for a blanket! Target! Oh, Scorps, love you, but did you know it's me to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I do so? Beg him to give up? Yes, Gargan, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! You must brave, but also very small. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I did Thank him to keep up. Yes, God. That is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. Trapped again, Gargan. So you guys and Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The Scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? How about we murder God, man, and we get caught for a blanket today? Target, please! You embarrass yourself! <laughs> Get me out of here! <laughs> 
getting his suit removed. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? Money. Guardian has no principle. He fights for profit. Untrue. I'd rip the right man's face off for free. The money. Uh, I'm gonna name my yacht after you. The Squash Spy. Oh, Squash, I love you, but you do know it's really cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I did not? Beg him to give up? Yes, God, because that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The Scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? Now we're out. The we murdered Spider-Man and we did court for a place. Hey, Gargan, please! You embarrass yourself! I'm gonna name my yacht after you. The Squash Spy. Oh, Squash, I love you, but you do know it's Ruby Hat in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't beg him to give up? Yes, Garden, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! Six, 
The dirty half dozen? How about the we murdered Spider-Man and used his corpse for a blanket? Hey! Target, please! You embarrassed yourself! Rhino's getting his suit removed. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? Money. Garkin has no principle. He fights for profit. Untrue. I'd rip Spider-Man's face off for free. The money. Stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your skull uncrushed? There is fun in that! Come here, pal. I will teach you to throw real punch! My jaw's already absorbed that particular lesson. Thanks! Yes, you freak show! A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready.
alarmists, paranormal, conspiracy theories, all nasty words people have used to insult and demean me. But now, after years of me trying to warn you all, here we are. Spider-Man has literally brought a plague down upon us. Why do I blame him and not Martin Lee? I do blame Martin Lee. He deserves swift justice, but he's a lunatic terrorist. This is what they do. Whereas Spider-Man claims to be a hero. Yes, he obviously knew about the threat and didn't warn us. He either thought he'd handled it, which makes him criminally negligent, or he was in on it, which makes him a terrorist too. All units, escape prisoners are opening fire on civilians from vehicles. Officers needed at Gracie Mansion. Please copy. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. Mayor Osborne really lives here? There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague! Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs! Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. Security room's right open. Just, just need to get to the door off. without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember... Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Swear your way out of here. We're in charge now. Okay, okay, I'm gone. <sighs> Multi-million dollar building with... <laughs> I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Hello? Who's there? Wait! <laughs> I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Control. Status. Nothing to report. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked.
Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and- Wait! Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Stupid useless button. Hmm. Guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. The Fabulous Osborne Boys. Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage in- MJ! Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> Uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow, haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Harry's room, but it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key.
Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Can't be for Harry, can it? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here! The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the Labitat now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Control, grid's clear. Repeat, grid's clear. What was that? July 18. Bingo. Super. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Norman Osborne, GR27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR27 is a cure. Not a disease, but try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the upper looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no sable troop deployments. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michaels' path. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Nice. Got some overlap with Dr. Michaels' path. Nope. That's just a Sable patrol. Nice. Got some over- Wow. So many records. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. 
Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. started all this. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh, no. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Clear that balcony. Hey! <gasps> Boss, we got him. No! Pete, you here? Turn it off, Lex, now. Are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick? 
Norman and Lee and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks, partner. to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti-serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This'll all be over soon. I promise. Requesting an update on our status in Cathedral. Traffic control point secure. Eyes out for Spider-Man. More and more listeners are warning that the mayor's Sable agents, ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. Said it's foreign. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go! Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not permit the suspension of human rights. Your elected officials may not be willing to fight for you, but J. Jonah Jameson is. Psychos in town. Some who can fly! Demons before I can follow Lee into the lab. Time to KO those snipers. <laughs> <laughs> 